<clears throat> All right. Well, what is up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. I wanted to do a little bit of a one shot with this Geek Vape Flint kit. Um, so I'm a I'm a real old school vapor. I really, really like mouth to lung. I was vaping way back in the day when mouth to lung was kind of all we had. So I vape a ton of mouth to lung and I love all of the mouth to lung stuff that's been coming out lately. And the latest thing from Geek Vape is this Flint kit. And look at this. Just look at this tiny little guy. It's a great little pocketable mouth to lung guy that I have really been enjoying and I really enjoyed it for a, a week. It's okay. We're going to get there in a second. We're going to talk about the coil heads, but overall this has been this has been a stellar little mouth to lung. I first saw this, I opened it, and I kind of instantly fell in love with it. I opened it in a vlog video, and I remember saying, I love this thing. I said, I love this thing even though I haven't even vaped on it yet. And when I put that coil head in there, when I filled this up with watermelon juice, and when I tried my first mouth to lung vape from this Geek Vape Flint kit, it was... It was glorious. It was everything I've ever wanted. There's multiple airflow, you know, uh, selectable holes on here. There's five total. One, let's say one is the smallest one. It's a tiny, tiny little pinhole, just a tiny, tiny little pinhole guy. And five is the most open one. And you can't do a restricted lung hit with any of them. All the airflow holes designed on this, I mean, are designed for mouth to lung. But if we're gonna talk about my favorite, I go to number three. So you can either count down from the top or up from the bottom, but I go like five, four, three. The third one, it's just, it's just my favorite. I just find it to be the perfect tightness of a good, tight but not too tight maybe a little bit open but not a little bit too open mouth to lung and it's it's just insanely enjoyable the problem is that vape right there was not nearly as enjoyable as when i first put this coil head in here i first put this coil head in here i vaped it and like i said it was just everything i wanted in a mouth to lung. It was fantastic. And then that coil head quality started like slowly decreasing, like almost immediately. By the end of like two days, it had already decreased a little bit. And I thought, wow, I'm just, I'm not getting the same vape from this. I'm not getting the same flavor from this. And then about a week later, I mean, this is still the same coil head. It's been going since the beginning. It's been going about two weeks now. And at this point, I want to change out the coil head. Um, the kit does come with a spare coil head. My kit that I got in the mail did not come with a spare coil head, so I can only talk about this first coil head I got. And it lasted about four days with stellar flavor and like a nice little crackly warm mouth to lung. And then after about four days, the crackling kind of went away and I felt the flavor dip significantly. And then for about a week after that, it's just been, it's just been barely limping along. Like it's just been barely, barely vaping. It has become a not really super enjoyable mouth to lung vape experience. I I'm kind of worried about these coil heads a little bit. Like I said, I wish I had a spare. I wish I had a second one to throw in here because I know I would throw it in here and I know that it would be leaps and bounds better than this old coil head, but nah. Shit, I just don't have one. Um, it is a 1000 ma or milliamp hour battery. Haven't ever run into any battery issues with it. When you're vaping mouth to lung, especially at a really low voltage, 3.2, 3.4 volts, you're not gonna be blowing through battery life. Um, it doesn't say on the website what the capacity of this tank is. I'm assuming it's about a mil and a half, which again, when you're going low voltage, mouth to lung, you're not gonna be blowing through juice like crazy. So I, I haven't had any battery issues or tank capacity issues just because you've been vaping it with mouth to lung. Um, what I do really like, this more than that Inakin uh, T18 II that we did uh, like a, a week or so ago is that you can use this tiny, tiny little flavor banger mouth to lung tank on any other mods. You can put this on the Agus Mini, you can put this on other small tiny mods. You don't have to use it with this battery, which I actually really enjoy, but I kind of like using it with this battery, so I've been leaving it on this particular battery. Let's set my airflow back to number three. Let me have another two here and I'll show you how you fill it up. It's super easy.
yeah. I mean, it's it's just become really an unenjoyable vape. This is definitely the time when I would put a new coil head in. I'm surprised. I'm kind of surprised that this coil head really only lasted me about a week. And it's been limping along for that second week, man. Really limping along. But the little white arrow, this just slides out. You can take whatever juice bottle you want. This is a liquid barn. It's filled up with 12 milligram water Malone. And I just fill it up like that. This can use, certainly easily can use salt nick juices. They say on the website that they have specific coil heads for like specific types of salt nick juices. That's that's unimportant. You can use any liquid you want in this. You want to use Freebase? Use it with both coil heads. You want to use Saltnik? Use it with both coil heads. There's not a specific coil head that's going to go with a specific type of juice. That's kind of just a, a silly thing to do. They even mention nicotine levels. They're like, for higher nicotine levels, use this one. For lower, this, they're the same. The coil heads will function the same. You can use kind of whatever juice you want in it. I personally don't love salt nick juices. That's why I have 12 milligram in here. And even with 12 milligram in here, I just, I keep thinking about those first vapes that I got from it that were so dense and so flavorful. And man, that quality of this coil head just dropped off like quickly after a few days or, you know, I noticed a difference in it. It's, I don't know. It's kind of a bummer. It kind of bums me out. Uh, I really just want more coil heads for this because those first vapes were great. I just, okay, I'm repeating myself. I'm literally repeating myself right now. I wish these coil heads just lasted longer. Drip tip uh, does not come out. This drip tip is the drip tip that you're going to use. It's a clear kind of Ultem colored drip tip, which I don't know, whatever. It doesn't really bother me. Um, it looks fine on the black one. This also comes in different colors. There's a rainbow and a stainless and a blue one as well. And you can kind of see on the website, they have an exploded view graphic that kind of shows you, here's how your coil head goes in. You know, you can put a few drops in it and prime it up and it's real easy. It's a very, very simple, simple, simple setup. If these coil heads lasted longer, I mean, this would, this would be like, this would become like my go-to mouth to lung vape. I just, I just have such fond memories of how it vaped when that coil head was brand new. And lastly, there is a little bit of an adjustment on here. I'm gonna see if this camera will focus on it, but you can kind of see on the side right there when I press the button, there's like a little light and it's red. If you do one, two, three, it's gonna turn white and that's the lowest setting. That's 3.2 volts. And if you do one, two, three, it should turn green and that's 3.4 volts. And then if you do one, two, three, like that, and it turns red. That's like the high setting. That's the highest. That's like 3.6 volts, I believe. Didn't notice a huge difference between all of those. I just keep running it on the highest just because I like more, more warmer vapor and I like more vapor production, I guess, from this mouth to lung. So I've been rocking it on high. So look, at the end of the day, Geek Vape knocked out a rad, rad little mouth to lung. I mean, even even right now when it's not performing very well, I still like it. I still want to use it. It's nice and, and concealable and I can just throw it in my pocket and I don't have to carry around like a, a big bulky mod or things like this. I just have a very special place, very special place in my heart for little batteries with little tanks that are little mouth to lung guys. My only literal complaint, my only complaint with this is that coil head. The coil head, uh, the coil head quality does not seem stellar. Whoops. You know what the music means? So uh, that means my time is up. So no links are allowed in the description, so you're gonna have to use your Google Foo. Uh, if we're gonna quickly play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have and I have nothing left to vape is the Geek Vape Flint kit, something I would buy. I do. Here's the thing. I do. I love this thing. I love it and I want to buy it. I just don't know the, the price on it right now. So let's look that up. Geek Vape Flint Kit. Uh, it's not on the Geek Vape website, I don't believe. Let's go to the store. Sorry. I'm trying to make this as edit free as possible. Geek Vape Flint Kit. Um, oh, okay. 40 bucks. 40 bucks. Sure. For 40 bucks, it's, it's, I would buy it for 40 bucks easily if those coil heads lasted a little bit longer. I would love to see Geek Vape replace these coil heads, come out with a new coil head that's like, here's a, a longer lasting coil head because 
how, how many more times can I talk about how quickly the coil heads went bad in this? I think I could probably ramble for another 10 minutes about that very subject, but I'm not going to do that. We're going to wrap this up. It's the Geek Vape Flint Kit. It's mouth to lung joy for a short period of time before your coil head just so sort of slowly starts dying on you. But it is what it is. That's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, boom, even with a dying coil head, let us keep on vaping.